Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about Azure Monitor Service. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. All right. So first learn about why monitoring is important. Monitoring is the act of collecting and analyzing data to determine the performance, health, and the availability of your business application and the resources that it depends on. An effective monitoring strategy helps you understand the detailed operation of the components of your application. It also helps you increase your uptime by proactively notifying you to critical issues so that you can resolve them before they become problems. Azure includes multiple services that individually perform a specific role or task in the monitoring space. Together, these services deliver a comprehensive solution for collecting, analyzing, and acting on telemetry from your application and the Azure resources that support them. They can also work to monitor critical on-premises resources to provide a hybrid monitoring environment. Understanding the tools and the data that are available is the first step in developing a complete monitoring strategy for your application. This example diagram gives you a high-level view of Azure monitoring. At the center of the diagram are the data stores for metrics and logs which are the two fundamental types of data used by Azure Monitor. On the left are the sources of monitoring data that populates these data stores. On the right are the different functions that Azure Monitor performs with this collected data, such as analysis, alerting, and streaming to external systems. Let's look at some of the key capabilities of Azure Monitoring. The first capability is you can use Azure Monitor to monitor and visualize metrics. Metrics are numerical values available from Azure resources, helping you understand the health, operation, and performance of your system. The next one is query and analyze logs. So these logs are activity logs, diagnostic logs, and telemetry from monitoring solutions. Another capability is you can set up alerts and actions. Alerts notify you of critical conditions and potentially take automated corrective actions based on triggers from metrics or logs. So all data collected by Azure Monitor fits into one of two fundamental types, metrics and logs. So metrics are numerical values that describe some aspects of a system at a particular point in time. They are lightweight and capable of supporting near real-time scenarios. Then we have logs. Logs contain different kinds of data organized into records with different sets of properties for each type. Telemetry such as events and traces are stored as logs in addition to performance data so that it can all be combined for analysis. For many Azure resources, the data collected by Azure Monitor is displayed on overview page in the Azure portal. So let me quickly take you to the Azure portal to show you where you can find that. I'm on my Azure portal. To view the default monitoring, you can go to any resources. So I'm going to go to virtual machines. I'm going to pick an existing virtual machine. And right under the overview tab, if you scroll on the right hand side, you can see properties, monitoring, capabilities, recommendations, etc. So I'm going to click on monitoring. This is where I will be able to see key metrics like what's the average CPU performance, what's the disk utilization is like, and other key metrics as well. So the log data collected by Azure Monitor is stored in log analytics, which includes a rich query language to quickly retrieve, consolidate, and analyze collected data. And you can create and test queries using the log analytics page in the Azure portal. You can create and test queries using log analytics page in the Azure portal and then either directly analyze the data using these tools or save queries for use with visualizations or alert rules. Let's look at the data types. 
Azure Monitor can collect data from a variety of sources. You can think of monitoring data for your application in tiers ranging from your applications, any operating system and services it relies on, down to the platform itself. Azure Monitor collects data from each of the following tiers, which I'm going to explain now. So the first one is Azure Subscription Monitoring Data. This includes data about the operation and management of an Azure subscription, as well as data about the health and operation of Azure itself. Second, Application Monitoring Data. This includes data about the performance and functionality of the code you have written regardless of its platform. Third, we have Guest Operating System Monitoring Data. This data include the operating system on which your application is running. This could be running in Azure, another cloud, or on-premises as well. Then we have Azure Resource Monitoring Data. This includes data about the operation of an Azure resource. And finally, we have Azure Tenant Monitoring Data. This includes data about the operation of the tenant-level Azure services, such as Azure Active Directory. Now let us look into Azure Advisor. First, let me take you to the Azure portal to show you where you can find the Azure Advisor. I'm on my Azure portal. Go to the global search box and type in Advisor. Advisor is a personalized cloud consultant that helps you follow best practices to optimize your Azure deployments. It analyzes your resource configuration and usage telemetry and then recommends solutions that can help you improve the cost effectiveness, performance, high availability and security of your Azure resources. And the Azure cost recommendation page helps you optimize and reduce your overall Azure spend by identifying idle and underutilized resources. Please note that Advisor provides recommendations for virtual machines, availability sets, application gateways, app services, SQL servers and Redish cache. That concludes an episode on Azure Monitor. In the next episode, we're going to go through AZ303 review questions. So I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.